guys, I'm back again. It's Emmy at Crime Stories Obsessed. Police are searching for a woman who has been missing for more than 24 hours. Amanda Hull, aged 38, from Dorwich, failed to show up to her riding stables and was last seen in a field in Ormersley with her horse yesterday morning, Saturday, May the 22nd. She'd been due to take her horse to the local stables to go for a ride, but did not turn up. The family raised the alarm and now a police hunt is underway to try and find her. Her rucksack, purse and hoodie have been found in a field. Locals and police have been searching the area in an attempt to find Miss Hull. The police say we are appealing for help to locate missing Amanda Hull from Ormersley in the UK who was last seen on Hay Lane in Ormersley at 9am on Saturday, May the 22nd. The 38-year-old is described as white, approximately 5 feet tall with blonde hair, usually worn in a ponytail, and was last seen wearing a bright yellow jacket and brown riding boots. They say they will be bringing updates from the scene as they have them. Her mother posted on Facebook, I feel so helpless sat here wishing and praying. This is everyone's worst nightmare and I just want her home safe. The mother has been posting appeals on Facebook and she also wrote, Thank you for the support and help everybody is giving us. We just want her home safe and sound. Local people have been asked to help with the search for Amanda on Spotted Dorwich. This appeal went out. I know a lot of people have been reading about the missing person in Dorwich, Ormersley, Amanda Hull in brackets, and we are willing to help and search the local area today. A woman who knew Amanda really well said her disappearance was very odd. Her dad dropped her off at the field and watched as she prepared the horse and set off on the road towards the stables. She had a rucksack on her back and her dad drove off. But when the alarm was raised, everyone went back to the field and her horse was there and her rucksack was stuffed under a hedge. We don't understand why why that would be and her whole disappearance is a mystery. The satellite map of where Amanda was last seen shows how rural it is. Also classed as Ormersley, the field and riding stables are actually in the hamlet of Hadley. It's made up of roads and large expensive houses all spread out far apart. A woman who was at the stables to ride her horse told how the whole community was pulling together to try and find Amanda. People were out last night until 10.30pm driving around and looking for her. They all met up again today and are going to spread the word and spread out among the footpaths and bridle paths to see if they can find her. A woman at Hadley Riding Stables said Amanda worked there as well as keeping her own horse. She had a little job here which she really loved and she loves the horses. Everyone knew Amanda and loved her which is why... For her to go missing is so worrying. This is a field where Amanda was tending to her horse, Sunny, when she was last seen. Her horse remains in the field and her belongings were found stuffed under a hedge. Amanda works at Radley Riding Stables and visits almost every day. The owner of the stables, Teresa Bradshaw, said everyone is really worried because this is completely out of character for Amanda. She's vulnerable and has never gone missing before. She went to the field in Hay Lane and was due to bring the horse here. I rang her phone, but she didn't return my call and there was no answer, so I presumed because of the weather was bad she changed her mind. But then her dad rang me later asking if Amanda was ready to be picked up and I told her she'd not even turned up in the beginning. So this is quite an upsetting story. I'm wondering if somebody has taken her. It's not exactly what the family want to think right now. But why would her belongings be stuffed under a hedge? That's quite concerning. But it is a very rural area. So it's not a place that you're going to have people just wandering around. You know, it's quite rural. There's a lot of fields. So we're not really sure where she is and what's happened to her. But if anybody has any information on her whereabouts then please contact the police department in Ormersley in the UK. Okay guys, thanks for listening and I'll be back with you again soon.
Bye guys, stay safe.